Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to remove toxins from your body with the help of an enema and how to do an enema. So what are these toxins and how are they accumulating in our body? Due to the lifestyle that we are living today, the kind of eating habits we have, the environment we are living in, all of this is really accumulating a lot of toxins in our body. Unlike uh, to our ancestors where food was not so readily available, they had to look for it, prepare it and eat it only when they were hungry. Now that the food is so easily available, we are eating a lot more and there is so much more variety and unnatural foods that we have, that we have available that we eat and the body takes a lot of time to digest. On an average, depending on what you have eaten and what was the water content of the food you've eaten, it takes from 4 to even 20 to 24 hours for the body to digest it. But we eat every 2 to 3 hours. That means that you ate one meal, body was still digesting it to absorb the nutrients and push the waste out. But that task was still not completed and you ate the next meal. So now what happens is that the food that you ate in your previous meal was undigested and it stays in the body like that. It never got removed from the body through the waste channel. And um, now that undigested food is literally just sitting in your intestines. It stays there for years and years till the time you don't make an extra effort to remove it from the body. It stays there, it rots, it starts to ferment and it leads to the growth of bacteria, viruses, funguses. And later on, that actually turns into a disease or you know, sometimes we call it a cyst or a stone, even tumors and cancers. So it is really important that we remove all this waste, all the undigested food from our body and push it out. How can we do that? We can do that with the help of water. We clean so many things with water. We soak our clothes in water. Um, if you burn a pan in the kitchen, we soak it in water. Water is a universal solvent and it can dissolve anything and help you clean it. So we can soak our intestines in water with the help of an enema. An enema or an enema kit we call it, looks like this. So it's a container like this and it has this long pipe. And you can easily find it on uh, online or at any chemist shop. There are a lot of them available, they're not very ex expensive. They cost around uh, two, three, four hundred rupees maximum and they will last you very long. I'm using one since more than uh, one and a half years, I think now, and it's still uh, running strong. There is no problem at all. To use this, you need to first fill this with water and um, you don't need more than two to 300 ml of water. I'll suggest using regular normal temperature water, not hot, not cold, definitely. Uh, normal temperature or maybe just slightly lukewarm water is good enough and I'll definitely uh, drinking water from the uh, filtered tap in the kitchen. Once you fill this with water, you can also lubricate this tip. And uh, I suggest using water-based lubricant instead of using oils because oils tend to stick on them and it's difficult to clean and it might get dirty. Dust particles tend to stick on uh, plastic that was coated with oil. So I, I would suggest using a water-based lubricant. I personally use aloe vera gel, which, uh, which is very easily available. And you just need to apply it for about two to three inches over here. And um, this is a, you can see here, this is a locking mechanism. So when I do this, now the, this, the flow of water will be closed. And if I open it, that's when the water starts flowing. So you want to keep this towards the end of this pipe closer to you so that you can control uh, how much water uh, you want to take, when you want to start it, when you want to stop it. So this mechanism close to this pipe, this lubricated 200 ml of water you need to put here, 2 to 300 ml and uh, you're ready to go. You need to lie down on a bed or a floor. I would recommend doing this in the toilet because after doing this you need to go to the toilet and it's better that if you are inside the toilet already you can put a mat on the floor and um, lie down. Uh, this should be around uh, two to three feet above you so that um, the higher this is that's when the water will get some pressure and it will start to flow if you keep it on the floor there will be no pressure in the pipe and the water will not flow so you need to keep this around two to three feet above your height so if you're lying on the floor keep it at a height of around two to three uh, two to three feet this has a little hole in this so you can actually uh, put uh, drill something or hang, uh, drill a nail in your uh, wall or have a shelf over there or a table or a desk so that you can keep it easily or hang it there. 
once all of the equipment is ready and it's at the right height, you can lie down on the floor on your left side. So you basically your entire left side would be on the floor and the right will be on top. So your right leg would be on top of your uh, left leg. So you're lying uh, sideways because when we do that, the flow of water becomes easier uh, based on the position of our rectum and our large intestines. If we do it the other way around, again, the water will not flow easily. So once you've done that, you're in the right position, um, you need to insert around two to maximum two inches, actually not more than that, just two inches of this in the rectum and you switch this on. And that's when the flow of water will start and the water will begin to flow inside. And um, in the beginning, when I did it for the first time, actually, I could not take uh, much water inside, just maybe 50 to 70 ml, I think. So it depends on person to person and how blocked you are or how clean or blocked your intestines are. You might be able to take 50 ml or 200 ml of water and that amount will actually change after a few days. So uh, whenever you uh, begin to feel full and you feel that you can't take more water in, you just need to close this from here and um, remove this. Then you can walk around while massaging uh, your stomach. While you are walking and massaging your stomach, try to hold the water in for as long as you can, whether it's 2 minutes or 5 minutes. It will be around few minutes maximum, 5 to 7 minutes I think should be enough. And whenever you feel the pressure that you need to go to the bathroom, that's when you go and release all the toxins. And trust me, you will be surprised to see how much waste will come out. Again, everybody is different and depending on your history, and if you've had issues like constipation in the past, then uh, the amount of waste that will come out in your first enema would be different and some people might not actually see much uh, waste come out at all. But in the beginning, when you start doing it, you have to do it every day for three weeks to see the maximum result from an enema. After that, you only need to do it once a week or uh, whenever you feel the need. And by feel the need, I mean when you are sick, you have a headache or uh, you have fever, flu, cold. So if you have any little uh, health issues, that's when you can take an anima or just once a week. But when you start, you must take it every day for three weeks. And you will be surprised, trust me, to see how much waste from years and years of accumulation is now coming out. It's going to help you so much in uh, weight loss or clearing up your skin, any other health issues you were facing, even uh, digestive issues or things like constipation, it's going to help you a lot and you will definitely feel lighter and healthier after this. One quick tip I would like to tell you is uh, when you fill this with water and you switch it on from here, the water starts to flow and at times you will notice that there are um, this water in the pipe and then you will notice some air bubbles as well and you definitely don't want those air bubbles inside of you. So in case you see there are air bubbles, you need to remove them. And uh, it's a very simple way to do that. There's, uh, so there's water in here. If this is at a height and this is uh, uh, below, then you will see bubbles in the pipe. And to remove them, you put this lower and you increase the height of the pipe like this. You take this up and then you turn this on. And when the water comes out, all the bubbles will also get removed. And after that, this is ready to use. Second tip is that when you are inserting this little nozzle in the rectum uh, while lying down, you need to make sure that you insert it in a direction that it's towards your uh, spine and not towards the front or towards your stomach. Because that's where uh, the direction or uh, your intestine is situated. So that direction will be easier and you will not hurt yourself. I know when I was first time told this, I went to an HOQ camp and I was told that I have to do an anima every day and I was trying to avoid it and telling them, oh no, I don't have any issues right now, I'm all fine, I don't need to do this. But uh, Guruji there told me, no, you have to do it, everyone has to do it and then uh, everyone felt awkward talking about it or doing it. But trust me, when we did it and we could see how much waste was coming out of it and it's just once that you feel awkward the first time you try and do it but if you keep doing it, uh, it it's totally normal it's no big deal and uh, in fact Indian and Egyptian cultures both have been doing enemas to remove toxins from the body for over thousands of years so it's totally safe it's definitely not habit forming you might feel that way but um, 
once you stop doing it your body will come back to its normal routine as well and i anyway suggest that uh, first thing in the morning you go to the regular uh, toilet that you do always anyway and after that you take an enema to clean the further toxins that were not actually coming out so it's not habit forming it's totally safe and there's nothing awkward about it just go for it give it a try and uh, you will not regret it you will feel so much better after doing So I hope you found this video helpful and you are going to give this a thought and definitely give it a try and let me know how it goes. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more tips or healthy recipes, follow me on Instagram and do subscribe to my YouTube channel.